All right then. Hello everyone. Welcome to the first player movement video of this transfer window. And it is Josh McGuinness. He has left the club and has joined Wigan Athletic after 95 appearances, 26 goals and 9 assists in black and amber. McGuinness departs today to Wigan. Um, it's one that's been reported for about the last week. According to the Athletic, he said goodbye to his City teammates on um, on Tuesday. Had his medical yesterday, and it's all been announced today. We'll le we'll read what um, what Hull City have said on it. Uh, it says uh, the official statement from the club: Forward Josh McGuinness has signed for League One promotion hopefuls Wigan Athletic for an undisclosed fee. The Northern Ireland international scored 26 goals and contributed nine assists in 95 appearances during a two and a half year stay with the Tigers. Arriving from Bolton Wanderers in August 2019, the 31-year-old notched five goals in all competitions in his first campaign at the MKM Stadium. Excuse me, the experienced frontman was a key figure on and off the pitch during last season's title triumph, netting a career-best 18 league goals. He scored, seven, he scored seven goals in as many matches during the running, including efforts in the promotion ceiling and title clinching victories over, over Lincoln City and his new club Wigan Athletic, respectively. The striker bagged our third in the memorable 4-1 opening day victory over Preston, over Preston North End in August and scored his final Hull City goal against Peterborough United in October. We would like to thank Josh for his considerable contribution to our historic 2020-21 campaign and his efforts throughout his time with the club and wish him well for the future. So Josh McGuinness has gone. Josh McGuinness is, well, no longer no longer a City player. I mean, he was slated in the Championship. He wasn't the greatest for us, but there is absolutely no doubt that Last season, we would not have been promoted without him. It is clear to see that the McGuinness's experience at League One level had an effect in the team, on the team. And he... He, he, he dragged us up. I mean, it says there's seven goals in... In the last seven games of that season, it, it it was fantastic, wasn't it? So you know, Josh, it, it, it people moaned about him, but he was quality for us. Just a shame that it was only when we were allowed in stadiums to um, <laughs> to witness it ourselves. And yeah. That's that. That's that's that. I'll see if there's been anything else from the club on um, on McGuinness's departure. There's just a video with all his highlights or whatever. And you know, Josh was Josh was a lovely guy. Um, <laughs> I've got a story to tell about Josh McGuinness actually. I might save it for a live some at some point. But yeah, uh, Josh Josh and Louis Coyle on an international break. Uh, when McGinnis should have been with Northern Ireland, but he was injured. They were having a few drinks on uh, on Humber Street and ended up in the same bar as my dad and his mates. So that, that was an interesting one. And yeah, Josh McGinnis was... A class act. So it's gutting to see him leave. But do I think people like in the in the in these last few weeks and months, people like Eves and Tyler Smith have deserved chances over him? Yes. But was there ever any doubt of his quality? Absolutely not. You can say he wasn't cut out for for this level, but as I say, we would not have gone up last season without him. So that's my reaction then to Josh McGuinness. Departing Hull City. 
It is worth noting as well, we have got a fee for him. He was coming to the end of his contract at the end of this season. So we've got a fee for him. Yeah, so best of luck to Josh at Wigan. And it it may well be back-to-back -back promotions. And we'll see him in the Championship, hopefully, if we stay up next season with his new club. So best of luck to Josh McGuinness. Uh, thank you all for watching. See you all later. Goodbye.